vitamin D. So in the last maybe decade, testing vitamin D with regular blood work has become very common, which is amazing and such a huge step forward for medicine. Um, and the normal range is a little bit bizarre, right? It goes from, on most labs, either 25 or 30 to 100. <laughs> and that's a really broad range, right? So they're saying like, oh, if you're 25, that's great, you're normal. If you're 100, that's great, you're normal. Okay, but mm, that's a little bit broad. So in terms of optimizing, I like to keep vitamin D levels right in the 50 to 70 range. That seems to be where people have the best benefit out of the vitamin D that they're taking or the vitamin D that they're making from sunshine, right? Um, but <laughs> there is a genetic polymorphism called VDR that affects the vitamin D receptors, which means you need a little bit more vitamin D to get the same bang for your buck. And so for people with the VDR mutation, I like to keep it in the 70 to 100 range, so vitamin D levels on a standard blood test, in the 70 to 100 range, simply because vitamin D has so many functions in our human body, right? It's so many things are linked and so many health parameters are changed by vitamin D status. And so if that receptor, receptor is functioning a little bit differently, we wanna make sure that you've got tons of vitamin D to put in there. So that's one concrete way that you know, you can basically help your genes out, even with weird snips. Okay, Tuesday tips.